welcome to raw online today we will discuss about a topic which is somewhat rare that is the joints of thorax and the mechanism of respiration so competency will be describe and demonstrate the type articular surface and movements of manubrio sternal costo vertebral costo transverse and sifi sternal joints describe and demonstrate mechanics and types of respiration and other competency will be describe costochondral and interchondral joints so these are all the competency we are going to cover in this class so before going into the topic proper let us see what is thoracic cage we all know the thoracic cage is a very important structure which is going to protect the lung and the important organ heart okay so that is why this thoracic cage is a very important structure and this cage is formed by the sternum anteriorly and 12 pairs of ribs on the lateral aspect and posteriorly we have 12 thoracic vertebrae so these bones going to form the thoracic cage and if we see the thoracic cage see here the sternum rib and the vertebra all these three bone articulates by many joints so these joints going to form the joints of thorax so here we can see the joints of the thorax first we will see the list what are all the joints so we have the first joint that is manubrio sternal joint and next we have zippy sternal joint and then we have cost chondro sternal joint then we have costochondral joint intercondral joint costo vertebral joint costo transverse joint so all these are the joints of the thorax okay we will see one by one about all these joints first we will see about the manubrio sternal joint see here we can see the sternum so sternum is not a single piece of a bone but it is uh, having a manubrium body of sternum and sifi sternum so all these three pieces articulate to form the sternum okay so between the three pieces of sternum we have two joints one is manubrio sternal joint and another one is sifi sternal joint okay so first we will see about this manubrio sternal joint so this manubrio sternal joint is formed by the articulating surfaces will be the lower end of manubrium sterni and upper end of body of sternum okay these two part articulate here to form manubrio sternal joint and for any joint we have to learn the type of joint right so this is a secondary cartilaginous type of joint remember the secondary cartilaginous joint is otherwise known as symphyseal joint okay so we will uh, discuss something about the symphyseal joint symphyseal joint or secondary cartilaginous joint always this joint will be present along the midline so this manubrio sternal joint is a midline joint so it is a example for symphyseal joint other joint if you see this intervertebral joints these are also symphyseal joint okay so just remember that the secondary cartilaginous joint or symphyseal joint usually present along the midline of our body okay and here uh, though it is a secondary cartilaginous joint it is not a typical um, joint because after 30 years the symphyseal joint will become the uh, ossified joint okay so that's why it is not a typical symphyseal joint okay it will be uh, ossifying after 30 years and the movement occurring here will be a slight sliding movement which will be necessary for respiration so this is about the manubrio sternal joint now coming to the second joint that is sifi sternal joint so it is between the sifi sternum and the body of sternum so the upper surface articulating surface will be the lower end of body of sternum and the lower surface will be the upper end of sifi sternum and this is a exception to that the midline joints are symphyseal joint i told right so it is a exception though it is a midline joint it is a primary cartilaginous joint because we do not need any movement here so it is a primary cartilaginous joint 
later on it will be completely ossifying after the age of 40 this joint symphysiosternal joint will be completely ossifying okay so that is about symphysternal joint